So she grabs it and she fucking cuts me with the thing without even putting a lidocaine on. Three and she goes, she goes, now, did you feel that? I said, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Live for another podcast here from the wonderful building with crickets. Um, <laughs> Hex just started his podcast, so we kicked him off this one. We've decided. We held, we held counsel. It's gone forever. That's it. It's done. Hector's gone. No, yeah. he's not. He's not like, actually gone. Yeah, I'm more. But for the podcast, I mean, like he'll never. No, no, he'll be back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh yeah, he wasn't here while we were talking about it. I oh, forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, that. Yeah, no, we're just I, I, yeah. <laughs> get the jokes in. I want to laugh too. He's not actually. He's not actually gone. He's uh, he's away right now. Um, you know, exciting stuff for that. It's always good to start a new project and yeah, have something you're passionate about. You know, um, so he's going off and doing that. But out to that, I haven't. You were saying you didn't see Mike in a while. I didn't see some of you guys in a while. Like yeah. a month, I think. You went to where'd you go again? Did you go cross country? Everywhere. Singapore? Everywhere. <laughs> Singapore. We started in Malaysia and then Singapore. And then I came back. I went to Portland. And then from Portland back here and then to Seattle. Seattle to New Jersey and then back here. And I'm not quite sure if I've done anything since then. I've left the apartment maybe like three times. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them were for uh because last I heard of you, you were like you could barely move your one arm. Oh bro, I can and see. I saw yeah. your update videos. Still, uh, Wait, we were in a group chat with them about this. Yeah, got a little you, damage this guy there. That's wild. Have yeah. people seen this? <clears throat> They've seen it. I've shown it a few times. So it started off as like a mosquito bite that was on my arm and I thought, you know, I could just like poke it for a couple of days or like scratch it. That didn't end up working. It ended up like over the course of two or three days, it was like the size of a ping pong ball. And that's when I sent you guys yeah. that text. And even then, Mike dude, was like, you got to go to the dude, urgent care. He goes, maybe in a week, I'll go check it out. I thought we, like a few We days. see what it looks like. I'll bring up Laugh the Laughing my ass yeah. off. He's like, bro, you have to go now. Yeah. It was Look like, at that thing. Like, what, like what are you talking arm, about? But I thought I could just, I thought I could put ice on it and like the swelling would go down. So I waited for a few days. Didn't go down. I could barely sleep anything. So I walk into urgent care like two days later, and she says that we need to drain it. The doctor, she's like, that's an abscess. You got some cellulitis in your arm, like infection starting to spread. She's like, if we don't take care of that, it could get into your bloodstream, and then you fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to say that. Your arm or something. I don't uh, know if yeah. I'll die, but okay. <laughs> she, was like, she, probably, she was like, we should probably go drain that in the procedure room right now. And I was like... How about we try this? I was like, let me try to be the doctor for a second. <laughs> I wasn't trying Google to get says. I, dude, I wasn't trying to get poked or nothing like that. I was like, how about we do antibiotics for a couple of days, and then if it's not better, then I'll come back, and then we'll we'll drain it or whatever. And she's like, it's your arm. Like, you can do it. I was like, all right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that for sure. So she writes me a prescription, and the Walgreens is like 10 minutes down the road. So I go to the pharmacy, put my jacket back on takes me maybe 20 minutes to get back to my apartment with the prescription take my jacket off this thing had mutated bro and you guys have seen it like completely different it was about to fucking blow i almost passed out you took a picture i took a okay. picture okay. <laughs> okay. i know you i know you didn't record the draining no i didn't record the draining i didn't do that i could barely even breathe while she was doing it so that, here's that would have been a hit man i'm not gonna put it on that the would. podcast because i don't think y'all want to see this well, I you remember what it looked like it first, right? It, right? okay and then 20 minutes later Mike's fucking giddy that was it on my arm bro yeah because half of Mike's you look at to that wait a week no 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 wait, you wanted to wait a week with the one would it look like before dude that that looks like have any of you guys seen Game of Thrones? That looks like what happens to the stone people. It does. <laughs> yeah. That's literally what that looks like. Yeah. Yo, Mike was becoming a stone person. <laughs> and was trying to be like, nah, I'm good. Dude, as soon as I saw it, I almost passed out. It was like my brain recognized, like, oh shit, this thing might be <laughs> like, oh This my might be it. So, so you went right back? back? I saw the, yeah, I walked back. It's like five minutes away down the street. I saw, the, train, I saw train, the doctor train. in the reception room. I was hiding it with my hat the whole time because I didn't want to scare anybody. And I couldn't put my jacket back on. I was like, yo, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> And she's, like, she's like, what are you talking about? I removed the hat. She said, oh, my God. She's like, that looks a lot different than 20 minutes ago. She was like, 
She was freaking out. She goes, follow me. Follow me to the procedure room. Bro, she gets out. She's going through the cabinets, going the light of cane. She's putting paper towels down. And I'm just sitting there like, holy fucking shit. Like, it happened so fast. Will, like, Will's thinking of all the good times. He's going through it all. She's got like this the light machine. At the end of the tunnel. She's got this <laughs> machine with all the surgical equipment up there. And she like presses a button and a fucking switchblade comes out. And she grabs it. And I'm like, you're going to numb it, right? And she was like, well, look, I can try. But I think as soon as I poke it, she's like, let me try it. So she draws the light again. And she pokes it. I'm not looking. She's like, ooh, yeah, it's already, <laughs> it's already draining. We can't do this. She was like, it'll be fast. It'll be fast. Oh, so she grabs God. it, and she fucking cuts me with the thing without even <laughs> putting her lidocaine on. Three, and she, two, goes, she goes, <laughs> now, did you feel that? I said, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just cut me open with no numbing <laughs> agent, <man. laughs> She cut me. <laughs> and that wasn't even the worst part. Like, it hurt. But I this, said, bitch. <laughs> She started squeezing that thing. I looked over. She had both hands like this, squeezing it as it's hard like, it's as like she could. A pimple on your face is like maybe one finger on each. This oh, is, this is two hands. Hands. Two she's, hands. Get, she's getting leverage. She's doing yeah, one of these. And all I see is like dark purple infected blood Dude, like stop. splashing. Everything. Oh, it was, God. It was the worst pain I had felt in years, at least. I almost passed out twice that day. First when I first saw it, and then during like the procedure. She's like, are you okay? I'm in a fucking full body sweat. Right <laughs> Just waiting, bro. I was like, yeah, yeah. Let's just fucking do it. I'm banging on the thing. <laughs> screaming obscenities. But, like, <laughs> How's your week been, Davis? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It was bad, dude. Bro. And it just came on all of a sudden. Like, Yeah, that's wild. Started with a mosquito bite. And, <laughs> and you had a second person up. growing. I'm, I'm still scarred <laughs> up, dude. That's and they gave you an no explanation easy. what it was, type of deal? No, and then they had the audacity not to send in. I know the girl, she uh, she took like a swab, and you know, they sent it to the lab yeah. and try to see what it was. And I, w- I had to go back a couple days later because they actually pack, they keep the wound open and pack it with gauze. That mm-hmm. way it like keeps the infection at bay or whatever. When I went back, he said in a couple days they'd have it back from the lab. And then I called back, they didn't even send that shit. You have so no I idea, had no what, idea it what it was. It could have been. Cancer that's some Spider-Man type stuff right there. Yeah, you've been play, you yeah. playing that one, and that's yeah. like some infection yeah. type. That's what I was hoping, but... You might have been Venom. Bro, imagine if you became Venom. Ooh, that should have just that could have been a good marketing wrong, campaign. Huh? You probably could have gotten paid. I should have went whenever you told me. So yeah. Would have made it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, probably. Better, sure. They would have gotten him. They like, probably would have yeah, numbed we, you we, at we that point. We could give you antibiotics for this easy. You had to be early enough. But anyway. I just had no idea that stuff can be serious. Like, if the infection spreads, apparently, like, a family friend of mine died from an ingrown toenail. Like, an older guy, but my sister's Oh, I know. That's for real. Yeah, it was also in the 1300s. Where they just put salt on it. He had an ingrown toenail, goes to the hospital, but it's already, like, gotten into his bloodstream. It shut down his organs, and he just fucking died. Six that's, months. That's it's like a, the way it's called I'm reflexology out. or something like that. Like your feet, certain points on your feet, like connect to your organs, and like that's why people do foot massages, put uh, essential oils on your feet and yeah. stuff, because they they uh, correspond well, to certain parts. Is that why people have foot fetishes? Probably part of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably fetish not. organs. <laughs> yeah. Might be it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not playing games with that anymore. Anytime y'all see like. A little bump or something. <laughs> how, sassy, how sassy did Will just look right there? He's Don't got. Wait. He's like this with the Starbucks coming. I ain't playing. I ain't no playing games with that anymore. Well, oh, she's so glad. Uh, That's crazy. Glad yeah, you made it through. Yeah, because they were supposed yeah. to play in the Fortnite tournament on that Saturday when his arm grew a baby. Yeah. So hey, you know, people, I imagine you excuses. were probably like, dude, he's probably just fucking bailing. No. <laughs> I was the same day, I was like, dude, I can't make it. I gotta go to urgent care. Like, there's something on my arm, and he's like. Fuck, dude. Okay, I guess I'll try to get somebody to. to <laughs> should I send him a photo? And go, hey, <laughs> like, hey, just hey, confirm it. Yeah. Confirm. I could be dying. My <laughs> goodness, man. Well, that is a. Uh, I mean, that is that is quite nuts, Davis. You've you've had a lot going on with eighty-seven tournaments, never-ending blackout. Yeah. Um, so I ran the, the Fortnite tournament. Did really well. Uh, we you know threw a PS4 ten thousand dollar tournament myself and Scuff and CMG, which was a lot of fun. Um, Who ended up taking home the. Uh, these two guys that actually qualified online, so they don't have like a huge following, uh, you know, on Twitch or anything. But uh, Quickfully and Liam, I think his name is, and they are they're just ridiculous. Like ev- all of those guys that qualified and played, they they build like they build like PC players, just yeah. just all the way up. Um, watching like Aiden and Neo build. Have you watched them play? Dude, Aiden, Aiden just hops in, <laughs> and uh, and again, I know everyone's gonna talk about Fortnite, but I'm just. Uh, Bring it up for a second, but Aiden, yeah. Aiden goes and what the guy does is he literally plays one v ones in playgrounds. We'll go hundred dollars each one, and we'll just finish the day seven and zero. Just make 
make seven hundred dollars against PC playground players. Wagers? Play playground one v one wagers where they just build up, or they just start and do build battles on his best of threes, and he'll just hundred bucks. Thank you, hundred bucks. Thank you. Do yeah. they stock up like nine, nine, nine? Yeah, they'll, they'll go ahead and, and they'll, they'll, they'll drop all the get items. All the and they make oh, okay, and okay. Up, and they'll be like, all right, we're gonna start with two hundred HP, a thousand of each mat, and this. Yeah, you can't you can't like destroy each other's build, right? That's one of the yeah. You, well, now you hop on different teams. No, no, you hop on different teams and stuff, and then you're good to go. Um, but like, no, they play it like a normal thing. Like, if you want to play the low ground and drop down, you can. Oh, okay. They, you you know. on opposite sides of the map. So literally, so basically, uh, let's pretend you're over there, yeah. and then I'm right here, and we'll both go uh, on go three. Like or, they're in a call together. Or something? Yeah, or, or they'll be or they'll look at the clock in game and go at, at forty two ten. Oh, okay. And then next thing you know. He builds his ramp that way. You build that ramp that way, and each of your ramps are right past each other. And then it's like, and you start going, going, going. Wow. Yeah, and he plays on PC with a controller. So does he's Nick Merckx now too. Against, what? Nick Merckx switched. Yeah, too. yeah. And so he's playing. Uh, they still play with controllers. Right? Yeah, they still play just with controllers. But yeah, just it's on because PC. on it's because uh, Nick's Nick's <laughs> reasoning behind it is um. And Nick actually got really roasted by his community for a little bit that first night because they thought they were like a he was like abandoning all the console people because yeah, he's yeah. been like he's like the shining star of console, you know. Um, but you know his counter argument, which I agree with him, is everything's played on PC at events. When you load it on PS4, you can't see as far. You can't. Yeah. It doesn't load in as quick. You know, Nick would watch like loot spawn in on buildings and like would have to like react like, oh gosh, there's a scar at the last second. Where on PC, he would float in and see everything, um, and like the certain things felt quicker and just felt cleaner. So now he swapped to playing full time on PC as well, just with a controller. Um, yeah. Isn't the input like it's not the same though, is it? He says it all feels. He says it actually feels even better almost. Yeah, really? it's, it's a better machine, you know. Like that's why, like just going from a PS4, a normal PS4 to the Pro, you could tell like a huge difference. But there's no like input lag whenever you plug in with, your controller to no, no, no. PC. No. Uh, people, people were saying that whenever they were watching my stream on Blackout, is that. They're saying that my game looks better than their game because I'm on a PS4 Pro, but I can't. Hundred percent. No, PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. PS4 right. Pro is one hundred percent. Yeah, like better. Yeah. Fortnite from each, I could tell clearly like uh, wow. the graphic difference. I, I was playing Spider-Man on the the Pro, and people were like, "This looks so much better than my normal PS4." Yada yada, all the huh. stuff, and it, it definitely no. It's I, the investment into a PS4 Pro is one of the best ones I I think I, I made this year, and I'm, I'm gonna have to buy another one for my parents house in jersey because i want to have one right, i'm ordering that shit right now i've been like holding off for literally <laughs> oh, like three months i only play on ps4 but dude, i got the standard one i kept i kept yeah, going to I stores i kept going to the best buys over here the targets they were no like, they didn't sell them for her. they didn't they're they, sold they, out they're they're just yeah. i had to i went on amazon and ordered there was like 10 left of the spider-man ones i was like i'll just take one of these i guess it's crazy Spider-Man, PS4 yeah. Pro. <laughs> it's funny how like game, it's funny how like it's called the pro and then like you've got like the xbox elite controller which was like xbox is like hey this is our scuff you know and that was they worked with Scuff on that, and, and it's been so successful. Um, but from what I've heard, the Xbox Elite controller is like one of Microsoft's most successful products of all time, really? because like the numbers they put out, they just sell out everywhere. And I know that they worked with Scuff on that, and then I know now Scuff worked with PlayStation on the Vantage. Mm -hmm. And it's funny how like when casual people get a taste of what they could have with whatever, like we all know that this stuff is like. Oh, the advantage, the scuffs. Yeah, the this. We've been, we would use this forever. They hear of like the benefits of like the pro and how P COD players can't imagine playing COD without the pro now. Yeah. yeah. And like for the other people, like, yeah, let's play. But then like once they hear about it or get a feel for it, they spend that money at a the second. Same thing with the monitors. It's like people are like, oh, I'm 70, 80, and then 144. And like it can't be that much of a difference. Your human eye can only see so much. And it's like, yeah. no, you could you could definitely see, feel everything with that. Now it's all too – I don't have a 240 yet, but that's – I was gonna say, is that the highest one? That's, that's what everyone. That, that's what like top Fortnite pros all use now and everything. And CS pros, it's 240 hertz. Um, How high will we get? I'm slack. It's just gonna keep on. I mean, this stuff's gonna keep on going, right? The new graphics cards, the 2080 Ti's are now out. It's like I don't even know how to add up these these graphics cards anymore. Is yeah. it called Newton's Newton's law, gravity or something? <laughs> 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 What's the law? What like, goes uh, up must come down. Uh, <laughs> There's Murphy's law, which is anything that can go wrong will go wrong. No, which I don't think that's definitely like not technology or something about like computer chips or something. That yeah, bro. I think I think like something's still wrong with your arm or something. <laughs> <laughs> the arm like definitely affected your head, bro. Um, I'm gonna fucking find it. God, <laughs> Will's ordered a PS4 Pro. He's looking up quotes at every everything right now. Um, but uh, you know, it, <laughs> no, that's too good. What were you gonna say? Uh, just. On top of that, now it's like I got the uh, 
the Ghost Throwback Tournament is this weekend, which should be a lot of fun. Then we're going to have – Time the, out. Uh, is yeah. that going to be 4v4 or 5v5? Yeah, 4v4. Ooh, okay, okay. Everything's still going to be 4v4 until the yeah, next tournament. what happens, okay. Yeah, or until the next game. Moore's Law. <laughs> Moore's Law? That's it. <laughs> Moore's Law, a prediction made by American engineer Gordon Moore in 1965 that the number of transistors per silicon chip doubles every year. And you can imagine, like, once you get up, you hit, like, an exponential point, so. Is that still true to this day, or yeah. is it, like, three to four months? That's how we got the PS4 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> See, full circle, folks. Yeah. Full circle. It that's, that's, how it all work. <laughs> that's how it all works. That's how it all works. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no worries. Uh, then, yeah. And the, so, two throwback tournaments, and then. Uh, Cryo chamber to, chamber to wait until blackout. Just gonna well, go and... <laughs> I think the way it work, it should work out is. Goes to this weekend, the next throwback tournament the following weekend, yeah. and then the weekend after that, Black Ops Four drops. Or close to it. Some something, something like that. Three yeah. weeks, right? Yeah. Did something you guys like see that. something this morning about like the blackout beta might return? It already got it already got mixed. shut down, but yeah. but yeah, there was all these people saying like apparently shrouds. Yeah, I saw up. that clip of shroud. He... I I mean, dude, I don't see how they I, they did a week long beta. They tested it. Each player count, they put it in different mode. I don't know what else they could really learn from it. Yeah. You know, I think they got all the player base. I don't think we needed. want. I don't think we care about what they can learn. I know. We just want to play it. I think from their eyes, they just don't want people to go back to Fortnite and be like, "Oh yeah. man, this." Is, True. Yeah, this is I think it's crazy that you liked it. Oh, it's so good. A ton of people. At first, were... I, I wasn't crazy about it. Like the first two days, I played it a little bit, and then I, I started playing squads with like uh, Rambo Ray. We played for. A few I days. saw you guys in one of the discords. I was like going through my discord. Like, where's Where's this? Channel, yeah, I couldn't find it, and then I, I like clicked one, and I saw like you with Ray and two other people. Yeah, and I was like, okay, well, yeah, yeah. he ended up inviting a couple of his like bowling yeah. friends or something. But yeah, we ended up playing. And the more I played it, it was it was fucking dope. Like, yeah, it's just such a snappy. It's like that Treyarch engine, I guess. It's such a snappy. Yeah, game. like it felt like Black Ops Two. I could why why I was out there. Fucking yeah, it Wait, is crazy. On why, PC, why, there's you? a there's a setting where you can't swap. There's a mill. There's a it was set to 250 milliseconds. Of, or something like that, of how the speed in which you could swap weapons. And like it was automatically set to like a higher number than what instant. you would want. Yeah. So like we found that like four days in the PC, or like the last day of the PC beta, and we swapped them. Like this feels so much better. We all swapped it in that same moment. I forget who I was with, but it was a weird setting. It was like time until you can swap back to your same weapon. Like it was making YYing harder or whatever. You switch it back to instant if you. It, 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 we just it. swapped it from 250 milliseconds or whatever it was down to 100. Like we just cut it over and half, like as low as it could go. And it Dude. felt smoother. It felt like the game was less clunky. Doesn't even make sense why that would be a setting unless yeah. it's like specific weapons. Like. I, dude, I have no idea what it was, but we all changed. We were like, that feels way better with swapping back and forth. Like when you're peppering with something, you got to swap to the other gun. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was you like a little bit. PC? Uh, that's a discussion I was having with him. Like, I, what was funny was I, my viewership was way better for console. And then when I swapped the PC where I thought maybe I would do better, yeah. it didn't. But then at the same time, maybe that was because then Ninja was playing on PC. Right. Tim was playing on PC. And, Shroud uh, Rock. When I, you know, when I, for example, when I'm on Fortnite and one of them is live, yeah. my viewership is lower than right. when they're not live. Um, so uh, we'll see. It, it's all going to come down to where people are. You know, it's it really does suck. And, and – and again, it, it, I, I wish there was cross-platform, man. That that still hurts my heart every day. That there's they're not no, doing that. There's no cross-platform at all, and there's no intention to have it. Um, and and for no matter what, no matter how much you can hate Fortnite all you want, the fact that I can have my c little cousin on a Nintendo Switch, me uh, him on an Xbox, me on a, on a on a on a PC, and then little Jeffy on a mobile, and oh, all great. queue together. Yeah. That, yeah. that has never been matched in gaming, and I don't know the next time we're ever going to see people match it in gaming. And well, the fact so that they make it so much easier on the console players, too. Like, the amount of auto-aim you get on console as opposed to PC. It doesn't, like, exactly level the playing field, but yeah. Yeah. console players on COD playing against PC COD players, I feel like we just get fucking... Yeah, it would be white. rough. Yeah. Or, <clears> like, I was going to say, like, that, that style of game, like, right. Counter-Strike, your PUBG style, like, your real shooters. Yeah, yeah. it would be... I feel for console to go against PC since it's such quick kill times. Yeah, oh, I'd be no chance. Watch like watching like a two tap uh, on a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you go putting, right. You go right to Shroud okay. and say like, well, watching somebody like that play, and then you watch a, a console player. But even not, it doesn't even have to be like Shroud. Like watching anyone, like watching Doc or or you know anyone that has any sort of snappy aim, and then compare that to like what if I'm trying to hit a 
Koshka shot with a controller, like it, 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 it it's hard, it's difficult. But then, obviously, if you have that precision aim, it's it's a little bit easier. You saw it with, like, Karma. Like, when he was playing on the console for the Black Adam, when he switched to PC, it looked like two completely different things. It, it like, is. It was, his, it his, PC KD, his PC KD uh, is, is 17. <laughs> what was his E? What was his console? The highest I saw before that was 9-something. What was his console? Oh, I, I don't know what it was, but he was better on PC. So we're doing that Doritos Bowl event at TwitchCon. Um, and... I originally got my first teammate was Hysteria, and I was like, "Bro, who should we go after next?" And I'm like, "Oh fuck, like TP. Like, let's try to get TP. TP's locked in. I'm like, who can be our fourth? Hell yeah! And I just sent a message <laughs> to Damon. Yeah. I'm like, "Wait, what am I doing? Let me try to get Damon." And when he was like, "Bro, let's let's do it," I was like, "Yeah, you're set." Yeah. It was one of those where I was like, "We're we're good to go." Yeah, everybody else is picking their friends. <laughs> Jack's going. Jack's coming for blood. But it was both. It was both things because you know I obviously wanted to make sure I had some stream like people who did stream and they all consistently stream and they do yeah. make content, and uh, and you know I, I felt like it was just a perfect mix. It just so happened that they've won a combined four times Call of Duty World Championships and this area is a really good Halo. Like has a, obviously a great. Oh yeah, background. yeah, yeah. Bro, when we when we played that day and we just we actually tried. We we literally went and we were like. Let's go for a 10-win streak. Yeah. Like, just let's do it. And we were eight-win streak in, uh, and and we were getting to a point where at that point it was literally just like we hadn't lost in four hours, and we were just playing so to the, like, the to the T that, like, you wanted to kind of explore a bit. Like, we were running a squad of four, and next thing you know, they're just dead instantly. And it's like you were fighting for kills, you know? It was why, you know, at a point in Fortnite, you would be like, I'd rather just duo a squad because there's only enough kills on the map. Um well, that's what we were doing, and the next, you know, like Damon started to go into like Damon mode, and he just flies a helicopter into a team of four, and was like, try- and like knocks two, but he's like, oh, I'm down, shit. <laughs> I, I like pull up my map, and I'm like, maybe we could try to get. <laughs> Fools in Rivertown, and we're at fucking array. I'm like, nah, it's not happening. <laughs> Dude, he's just an animal at everything. Oh yeah, hey, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, R- R- Ray is another example of someone who just seems like any activity they they decide to exert themselves in yep. can't relate i can't relate to that like yeah i don't get a it triple headshot out of the truck bro dude yeah you that that was so what what is the the biggest difference like like obviously besides the the regular like pc versus console stuff like what what do you uh what do you think, like, so right now my, things that i love so much about pc is the loot menu for one is God, far, yes. far 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 Holy far 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 superior to console when i first opened my loot menu and i just saw everything laid out and i started going like this yeah i was like this is i'm already things on the screen at once so when you open someone's bag yeah. it just shows the whole loot oh. and when you have a mouse you just go like this i just so my, my thing would be like this okay what do i need stock this 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 um you don't have to drag it. You just click it. Nope. You just click, oh, and, and it then puts it on the and gun. then when there, there was all the there's always all the ammo. And literally before I close any bag, I just go click each ammo, max out whatever I need yeah. out of the bag. There's things. There's downsides with it. One, you need to be able to like move a little bit when you loot. Like you need to be able to still like strafe, you know, back and forth or something, so you're not like a sitting duck. Yeah. Um, and then right now there's no tooltip when you're in it. So for example, if I hover over a scope, you can't. Unless you have memorized at that point what each scope looks like, which I didn't know anyone who did, uh, you can't tell if it's a two x, a three x, or four x unless you pick it up. Um, so like that kind of was lame. Yeah. But outside of that, everything was. Wait, so that in was, that menu when you were clicking over, it didn't say its name. It didn't. It wouldn't show what item it is. Like so you, probably, yeah, the, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just what they're going to improve on. Uh, but the okay. loot system was incredible. Um, it was way easier to like look around when falling. When you're gliding in, it's like a huge strategy. Obviously, like Fortnite is like when you're yeah. flying in. When I when I'm in a skirmish, Hysteria and I, when we're going in in duos, we're going like this. Uh, all right, we got one northeast. We're like spinning around as we're yeah. flying to our house. Yeah. On PC, you like middle mouse button, you just hold it in, and you can like look around as you're gliding in. I'm like, all right, we got a team south in Rivertown because we would land Rivertown every game. Our, our squad, that's like our spot. We would land on the gas station side by the two story church. We would cross the graveyard and we would like clear the city together. Dude, it's weird how fast I memorized the map. I think it's the first time in BR because like I played a lot of H1. <clears throat> I didn't play like any PUBG, but uh, I I never memorized like the actual map on on H1. Like I would memorize certain parts. Like I knew that if you landed eight mile, you could go north and go to the yeah the you know hospital like little things like that. But I didn't know like I could tell you 
everything. I played more Blackout. I like, like what's on top of this hill over here and what's yeah. on the side. Where you <laughs> check my, dude, I ended, I ended with like I ended with like fourteen hundred kills, like four days played or something. Did you see what level some people got to? Like shra- uh like uh scraps? <clears throat> no. Some I saw I saw someone screenshot they were, they reached level forty one in blackout. I don't even know. It was know. like brigadier. I, I was thought like, it like just stopped at, <laughs> at four. <laughs> I thought, That's the most Mike. Uh, no, because I kept I played with people that were playing from the the start and they were at four and I was like and then I got to four and then it just stopped there and they weren't going up and I was like is it capped at four? No, it was. Well, I think I think you're right. Like the first day, it was like capped at four or something like that. Okay. I just don't know if anyone passed that. I'm looking up. I'm trying to see how many hours. And I only played console. I didn't, I didn't go up until like the PCs. I think I made it to twelve. Up. I streamed at thirteen. Twelve, thirteen. Dude, I'm jealous because like fifty-six hours of Black Ops. Because you guys are all like just, just core week. COD players. Like you guys can enjoy each like map. Like yeah. It's like yeah, it's like a new map, but yeah. you played on all those little cities and right. stuff, and they're Dude, to to, yeah. a, to a point. Like I would for, like for Halo, like if I got to experience that, like where all those maps. Halo BR and there's like a pit area. That, yeah, like I would just yeah. enjoy it. Sanctuary I would just enjoy it to be able to like move hot, from map to map. Yeah. That'd be so. Dope. Just imagine like taking a, a lift, like taking the narrows lift. Just, just dive people on narrows. You hop in a mongoose and you yeah, fly over a pit. You're in training. But like, that'd be dope. That, that's my thing with Blackout. I really just want over there. Yeah, I literally just wanted just for that experience, like to be like, I'm gonna land midship and then it's, it's go to sanctuary and then go here, ivory it, tower, just go around. And it's everywhere. like, like obviously you have the like the first time I dropped raid and Blake and I dropped. I, I talked about this last podcast, but first uh, Blake and I dropped. I called out somebody top laundry mm-hmm. and, and we like literally like yeah. Yeah. it was like cr- I, like after it happened I put my controller down and I was just like what the fuck yeah, like, I can't believe that just happened but even then on top of that like you'll just be going through certain places and then it'll hit you where you're at mm-hmm. like you'll just do it do something like that's that's my thing yeah, yeah. like there's a there in array I didn't even realize array is like a black ops 1 map it's like yep. the, the the top building part is a black ops 1 map and and I was like going through it and then all of a sudden, I was just like, whoa, this is a Black Ops 1 map. My number one one was, that when that happened to me, was the red barn from Fringe is in the middle of Rivertown. Dude, that was another one. So you just like, when you're in Rivertown, you just go into one of the buildings, and next thing you're like, wait, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm back on Fringe. Like, I'm in Fringe for a second, and it's yeah. such a cool feeling. Um, that happens Fringe? Is that the one with the railroad track? That was track? Black Ops 3 with the railroad track, yeah. oh, the two okay. barns, and it's, yeah. Wait, so you can go up top on the little scaffolding? And... There's just like, there's the red barn from Fringe is literally just placed in the middle of Rivertown. Really? Yes. I didn't notice that. Yeah. It was also, uh, it was, it also happened on transit too. Like, uh, I was just, I, there, there was like zombies and stuff and I was like, what the hell? And then I, I hopped into the diner and then I saw the the like place you can or you can climb up to the top of the diner and i was like holy shit this is transit yeah Uh, and it's just i don't know that happened like so many different times throughout the games the zombies adds a cool little thing to it too like um they did a really good job with it i think my big thing and i think something i want to get into was this whole that whole time and that week was fortnite's dead dead you know fortnite's dead rip (laughs) PUBG. And you know, rip rip all that stuff. And for me, that's obviously those are the same kids who argue PS4 versus Xbox. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and and <laughs> honestly, their opinion will probably never be changed. Yeah. But we talked about it on stream. I spoke about it with you know Ninja yesterday and Tim. And if you are a fan of PUBG or COD or Fortnite or all of them, if I'm a Call of Duty dedicated fan, I am wanting Fortnite and PUBG to be as successful as possible because that forces those developers to get better which in turn forces Call of Duty to get better. And that's what happened. And literally, since the call, since the PUBG, since since COD uh, happened, PUBG just announced one of, a huge update yesterday. They're having a full-fledged ranked system get put into play that people have been begging for forever. Yeah, since and, when have developers updated games this quickly before? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, Call of Duty, think of that. People thought it was impossible to update a game. We, had, we were all brainwashed yeah. that you couldn't update a game on console every, every week. Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite not only updates console every week, but PC, fucking mobile, mobile yeah. and Switch. Like, they changed that whole <laughs> mindset. And yeah. now that people know it's possible, it's like, yeah, what the how fuck much work are you what, really putting in? What, yeah. was, what was the excuse back in the, I think the excuse for at least Xbox back, I don't know if you, it was you, true it was, or not, but they were like, oh, we have to send it to Xbox. Yes. And then when Xbox has an mm-hmm. update, then They had to pick updates. a date. And, like, and maybe, maybe you know what, maybe yeah, back then it was. Maybe saying, it has yeah. changed with the clouds. And, yeah. and but all I know is this. <clears throat> Now that people know it's possible, mm-hmm. other developers have to you do have that. To. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you don't listen, no matter you. how much you hate 
Fortnite for how young the community is or whatever, if you blindly say you hope Fortnite dies when there is a free-to-play game, fully optimized, <clears throat> cross-platform on every system, easy entry, everything, yeah, you don't want Fortnite to ever die. And it's like people that say that it's like, like what? Like you got to know your opponent if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna like fight if, if you're gonna go in fighting Fortnite, you have to know your opponent. It's the biggest game since Minecraft. It's on every. It's free on every platform. That every person of every age. How the hell are you going to beat that? <laughs> your, it's so your hard. Your $60 game is not going to beat that. Fortnite is so animated, though, that they can do all this, like, goofy, wacky yeah. stuff with, like, skins and the map. Like, what would COD even do? So that something? was my other point was Call of Duty, I think Blackout's going to need to, you know, they keep pressing the 10 years of Call of Duty history, yeah. the, or Blackout, Black Ops history. But it's going to come to a point where they need to, they're just going to need to start throwing stuff in and building on it. And thankfully, I don't think people are that attached to the lore of Black Ops, you know, where it'll be like, for example, I know that with Call of Duty World War II, they were very worried to, they were branding it so heavy around World War II that they were very worried to make up events yeah. because they literally based the whole campaign off of real things. Uh, yeah. So it li really limited them. Um, but with, for like, for with Black Ops, for example, they're going to need to, Fortnite can just make shit up. Yeah. yeah. They have low like, gravity they zones, add? a lake that yeah. bounces around. I just bought around. for $15 a fucking flying dragon that shoots ice. Yeah. What is Kyle going to do? I mean, like, they add like the different modes. Like, okay, you know, you can make the zone collapse faster or maybe add in a new. Gun. I think it's crazy that they already did that. Yeah. Because Fortnite's the only. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say the only, but it's, you know, they. Is they. The like, fast storm? Time yeah. Lim uh, limited, limited time uh, modes. Yeah. But. They COD did it in the beta. Like right. that's crazy. What like what more is to come if if the those limited like you got to think there's more zombie modes or, or different things that they can put do you, out. Do you think the map would change throughout time with different Call of Duty maps from Black Ops? Like have I, all the maps? No, I I, I 100 fully expect them to update the map like okay. that as wake as time yeah. goes on. What I was thinking of a uh, limited time mode was imagine like uh, you play, everyone drops, and then like three minutes into the game, a beacon appears. And that's where a pack a punch is, and everyone knows the pack a punch is there that you can go and bring your guns to and pack a punch them to make them f steroided out. And it's like you go and you go and you're able to secure it and pack pack a punch your weapon takes a, thirty seconds to do. You have to put your gun in and wait for it to do the whole thing. That should be in the normal mode. I feel like there needs to right? be more incentive for people to run around. At least put like better guns into the supply drops. But if I can run around and find like an auger DMR operator or whatever the fuck on the ground. Once you get to the middle of the game, there's no incentive to run yeah. around. Unless you're just yeah. going for, like, high-kill games. Blackout was the first BR that I played where if I found a weapon first, I actually would be upset. And that was because I felt more joy finding armor first than finding a weapon. I would land and find armor and be like, I got armor. And I would still have my fists. And I'd be like, good. I'm good. Yeah. I know I'll get a weapon soon enough, but I got armor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That armor was insane. It was nuts. Uh, though, right? They nerfed level three? Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're, the they're, they're starting to tweak it all down f for the better, but definitely armor needed to be. How much extra HP did they give? Or no one knows. No, no one knew. Knows? It was because it, was it, 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 was it, it wasn't a blanket like armor protects you. It was like if I had level 3 armor, a shot that would normally do 29 damage would do 16 or whatever. And it was like you could even do a math equation because they didn't have damage numbers. It wasn't like Fortnite where you tag someone 26, 26, 24. Yeah. I, I yeah. could not t I could not even tell you. I, I could even make up a number. What I, saw, it was. I saw the nade shot clip where he hit like every shot on the dude. And I'm just like, I should have never. Really <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, I saw that. I was so like, bro, Matt, when he gets up and gets angry and starts like pace around the room. <laughs> you can just tell, dude, that you can just tell because he's, he's so passionate about like COD is his shit. Yeah. yeah. So like this is his time. Uh. And then he's losing those gunfights and he just wants like, <laughs> it's like all of that. Like yeah. just fucking ah, oh. throws it. Those, those clips are it's got to be it, it's crazy we were talking about this on the way over here it's it's crazy to see these people like 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 people are saying cod is back or whatever and not saying it ever left it definitely we've had a rough couple of years but it's it's crazy to see this entire brpc scene attaching to a call of duty because that's the most exciting warfare style br that's out right now like you got doc you got shroud you got you know summit you got all these people that have been playing PUBG, h1 like those sort of games and and now they're excited to play call of duty like, that's got to be the most people that's played a call of duty beta ever right i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> say right now that blackout's gonna have more players than actual multiplayer yeah oh this so? 
I I I think I think so. the Call of Duty franchise has officially changed forever. 10 14 years in however many it is, 12 years in, they it is about to take its biggest shift ever. Forget jetpacks and everything like that. I think what's about to happen with Blackout will be the biggest change. How do you move forward? You're telling me that the next game won't have a BR? Like if like I'm sure they're working on something. Yeah. You're telling me how, how whatever comes is next. That, man? Like what what are they going to do? How, is every single Call of Duty coming like and then like if we're still going to make a COD every year is our every single COD going to have its own BR? So does that mean that people are going to still be playing Blackout two years from now and they're also going to be playing the Modern Warfare 4 one next year and it's just like yeah, it's a slippery slope yeah I don't like know about that. that why why don't yeah I I'm don't excited know. about the normal game like I played a little bit of the first beta like the multiplayer beta but the yeah. more I like got used to the gameplay on the Blackout beta I'm excited to I just love that they, and I just love that they fully embraced like the multiplayer side as you're saying like yeah. you load up now that, that menu from the beta that everyone saw I'm like 95% sure that is the official menu screen you're going to see when the game launches it was theater, local play, multiplayer, blackout, zombies. There's no more camp. You can start a party from the main menu and go, what are we diving into today, boys? Wow. Let's hop in for some squ- duos or, you know, duos and blackout. You guys want to play the new zombies map? Wait, there's no there's no campaign? There's zero no campaign, campaign in this game. That's the video. Really? Yeah. So, sorry, Will. <laughs> that was the best. You were Will's <laughs> There goes your whole series. <laughs> there, goes a thir- oh, there goes my 30 minute like, videos. Uh, even the World War II uh, campaign I played there, I thought they were dope. Yeah, they're always they're always really underrated, underplayed, in my opinion. I love them. Because I, I've always. The last one I finished was Modern Warfare 2, but I've started almost all of them, and I thought, wow, if I like single player games, this would be really good. I, oh, this just reminds me. I was streaming yesterday, and I'm getting 100 bit donations from this guy going, You ever play COD Ghosts? You ever play the COD Ghost campaign? Why don't you play the COD Ghost campaign on stream? And I'm like this. Fourth one that came in, I'm like, bro, thank you for the 100 bits, but bro, I'm not fucking playing COD Ghosts. I literally had to say that. I didn't know. I was like, it was tilting me so much. <laughs> this one dude. I'm not kidding. You ever play the COD Ghost campaign? I'm like, what? He's passionate about it, bro. I'm like, dude, I'm not playing. I literally said the F word. I was like, I'm not fucking playing COD Ghosts. I don't know how else to get it across. Donation stopped after that. He went on to probably another streamer. Imagine going down the list. You're playing COD Ghost. Like, you watch the playthrough that never finished. You need someone to go on and play it, beat it for him. Apparently, the Ghost campaign is like, no, 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 that's not that's not what I was thinking. It's the AW campaign. Because I didn't like AW, but everyone told me that the AW campaign, campaign is like one of the best campaigns well, that was ever. The Kevin Spacey. That was the Kevin yeah. Spacey pre-molestation or whatever he had going on now. Thing. Well, I mean, he was Yo. <laughs> Talking about him. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about him, have you guys seen? The, you you'd like this movie. Um. <laughs> it's after we found out. <laughs> His new movie, by the way, Billionaire Boys Club. Yeah. It, it was that what you said? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I seen it and, I, and you saw it. <laughs> it <laughs> Mike, you are one of the ninety-five. Bro, it made hundred. No, no. It made one hundred twenty-six dollars opening weekend. The whole. Yeah, it wasn't advertised. I watched it on the on the plane. It was it was just in the plane. It was there. I clicked on it and I watched it. And. Did you pay for it? No, on, the, on United, it's like wait, you wait, get all movies. One hundred and twenty-six dollars. Yeah, because it it came out. No one wanted to support it anymore because of what happens with Kevin Spacey now. They, uh, so it put out. It got put out in ten theaters and across the nation. Uh, only ten theaters, and it made one hundred twenty-six dollars total. That's like ten people. It's like one person. It was, per it was screening. Yeah, it was basically for the like family to see it, like people, like close ones, to see the project and everything. What? Oh, like so, all the other actors and stuff that put their. Hard work into it. Hard work into it. Mm-hmm. And then no matter what excuse guy. you make up, bro. Yeah. Shit made 126 bucks. Yeah. It's a good movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. Look, man. He wasn't... He was, Mike, he was Mike, acting Mike. as a different person in that movie, so I can't judge him for the outside stuff. Mike's but an incredible actor. Like that's, yeah. one of those, that's one of those that Mike's going to hold on to until like 30 years from now. You guys all got to go. Goodness. You ever seen Billionaire Boys Club? Mike's going to go like this. He's going to be donating. Crazy movie. Yes! Have like, you ever seen Billionaire Boys Club? Like the Cod Ghost Camping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's man. so great. That is... Uh, <laughs> Well, 126. If wow. any of you guys in the comments have ever seen it, please go ahead, hit Mike up and talk about it because he can't talk about it with anybody else. I can't. <laughs> no one in the world Wait, can so... relate to you, bro. <laughs> and when I saw it, I totally forgot about that whole thing. Which they, like, I was like, when did this movie come out? I didn't even know. Even, even How really? bad of a of a movie title is that for his next, oh. his next movie? <laughs> 
Oh, but the movie was what? Yeah. The movie was done. When did that that whole thing like come up? Five, six months ago, maybe, maybe even a little longer. That now. movie was like done two years ago or a year ago. Or well, they probably oh. they probably Filmed finished it, yeah. filming it That's over a year saying, ago. Yeah. They went to the edit mm-hmm. and and. They, I, I can tell you right now, all their marketing happened. budget was ripped, and oh, yeah. you know you don't put anything into that at that point. Um, that really sucks for everyone else because it's oh. just that one guy. Like you, you got to think like some of those people, some of the actors and actresses, like those were probably their. This was their big break, you know, getting in a movie with Kevin Spacey. Like that was probably their big break, and then nine months later, Kevin Spacey. Is, is that, <laughs> you yeah. got to think like, damn, the, I can't talk about any of it. All of the all of the Roseanne stuff, like they 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 filmed like four or five episodes i think of like of the new roseanne yeah. like thing and then oh, all that, that happened. all that stuff came out and she made dude with the, with, the, with the logan paul stuff he had like four shows slash movies in the pipeline that just all get wi- uh, all got wiped oh, yeah. like everything that he was involved in just got pff, taken off the table because of the this su- yeah this was that forest thing wow. just every like it was like two movies or three movies and like two youtube series just all all like pulled YouTube red series or just all done um yeah. And Wild. it's just like it just shows, man. You gotta. Yeah. It's crazy how it all it, is. It just it just sucks that I mean it just sucks that it ruins it for all of the all of the other people. Cause that one of the one of the girls in um in Shameless was supposed to be in that Roseanne thing, and I was thinking like, damn, like she's making another like she's ex like. Dude, I'm salty about that. She's Even out of the, yeah. She's she's leaving What's, after the season. Oh, the not her, um, but yeah, she is leaving too. What's the the little one with the red hair? Heavy? Debbie, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Debbie was supposed to be in the Roseanne thing, and I was just like, "Oh, that's cool. She's like going like she's making she's moves, yeah. They making stopped moves and career they stopped. advancement. Yeah, they stopped the whole Roseanne thing. Yeah. Airing it, stopped airing it. Yeah. Well, they, I don't even think it, <laughs> I don't think it wasn't yet. at that point yet. Yeah. But the, the thought process they then had was like uh, rebranding it to being about the husband or someone else, yeah. and then just no Roseanne in it. Um, but I don't know if they made any headway with that. Um, but it's crazy. Like even down to like the big another when you talk about controversies, the other big one was James Gunn with Guardians of the Galaxy three, the movie's oh, director, yeah. and that one's super interesting and spicy because and this is something I'm sure we all know. Um, with social media, is social media six years ago, five years ago, totally is different. way different to what it is now. It oh, used to yeah. be it used to yeah. be like the Wild West, where it was like no, there was no Any regulations goes. or rules, and yeah. then it seems like now, just like how in person and how you act anywhere, you just like. You just kind of know how things are. Like when you're when you're going to use a urinal in the bathroom, you don't go right next to the other dude. You go <laughs> couple down. You know, give yourself some space. It's like it's like the unwritten rules. Yeah. And then now that's been established with the internet, where James Gunn put out all these terrible jokes and tweets about terrible things back then. Seven but at the same time, ago. you know, has completely changed the person. Has done incredible things for not only his career but many others, and has been a clean slate. But still, because of how Disney is as a company. Yeah. And you and you could see both sides of the argument, but the diff, the big thing is the entire cast coming out in support of him. Typically, when something like this happens, the cast and fans, too. yeah, it's everything was like, yeah. did they sign bring him back? back. On or no? no, it's official that he is not coming back at all. And like yeah. now, it's the last thing I heard was Batista, who plays uh, Drax, yeah. the guy with the, the yeah. daggers, um, is ready to walk, no. not be involved. Yeah, really, yeah. So wait, who? That's crazy. Who's the actor that? Is ready to walk? Yeah, no, no, no. The one that's got the, the can. Oh, he's the director, James. Oh, Gunn. director. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. And so, I mean, he's done first two Guardians. Obviously, Guardians of the Galaxy three is gonna be another huge, yeah, kind of movie. But uh, he literally shaped like the style of like how people enjoy Marvel movies. I feel like it went from like the action, which everyone was like awesome, and then comedy came in. Yeah, action like, comedy. Trendy comedy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, the comedy. Marvel. The Marvel movies, it's something that I'm really so passionate about just because of how well done it is. Yeah. I mean, I remember seeing the first Infinity War. Infinity War was such a big movie that when they they made a trailer for the first day they began filming, it was like January 23rd, 2016 or whatever. Wow. And they were like, it's our first day on set. And like, it was the first time I ever saw the Spider-Man actor Tom Holland with Iron Man and um, what's his name from Guardians, the main character. Um, Star-Lord. Star-Lord. And they were there. They were there, three together, talking about like what it meant to be on the set, and like now that it's all come to, and it's been ten years, and we have now the wait for the next movie, and the Captain Marvel trailer just came out. I know for a fact this time is gonna. You're gonna look back and go, I was there during like the heyday when they kicked off whatever happened with Marvel, and like what's talk about 
talk about having a vision and acting on it and like building a story. It's so good too, man. And it's so good. They could have keep Batista though. He's like the funniest one, yeah. right? What's his Drax? Drax, yeah. yeah. So good. I stand, I'm standing uh, 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 so incredibly uh, uh. still. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. And, and another thing that I love too about that movie, and it's been long enough. We're not really spoiling anything. If you haven't seen Infinity War, maybe tune out for a second. But what I just loved was that the, I was there for – I saw twice opening weekend. And the whole crowd, like when they would introduce a character, they like tease it for a second and then went to it. For example, like the, the moment Captain America is revealed, you hear like – you hear like the, the beat begin to pick up and it's like – catches the thing and he's in the movie and like the music picks up like when they were do going to Wakanda they were like I know just the place and you hear in the background like doo -doo -doo. Yeah, yeah yeah and you're like and then it cuts to the shot everyone's like hey you know yeah, and you know it's coming for a few seconds the number one example was the when Guardians came in they started playing like the do -do 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 -do, that type of music and then it like cuts to space and you're like you don't even need to see them you just know like that's yeah. the theme and that's how embedded and how such a good job they've done of building those brands. Yeah. It's like you hear a music note or a little a light change in the mood, and you're like, "That's Guardians. Yeah. That's yeah. Wakanda. That's Captain America." I don't know what it, even. I don't know another example of it in film. And it's just it's so it's so wild that something that powerhouse like that 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 vibe that was created can all be is all going to be taken away because of you know a couple bad tweets seven years ago. Right. And I think that's like. That sucks. I, think that's the, that the sucks. I mean, imagine, imagine if people went back to you, you guys' tweets, or, or if my tweets, my, Don't face, do that. my Facebook posts from you know eight years ago. It's just like you're gonna. You I wouldn't even recognize. Like, yeah, the person yeah. Anywhere, yeah. But, like I, I can go ahead and say no. like you wouldn't like it. Yeah, like you wouldn't like, like me. Yeah. I wouldn't like what I saw. Right. So the fact that I don't know, I just it's just weird that. People are just like coming out for blood for people for for what it's they did Disney, that man. long ago. I don't know. When Dizzy's got that much, it's like it comes to a point where it's like they don't even need to care who it is or what it is. People are still gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy three in their opinion. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, maybe a little bit less, but if they take a twenty percent hit on one movie, yeah. At the end of the day, Disney still owns literally everything. <laughs> literally. Yeah. That's <laughs> it is nuts, man. Own that. Oh. Own that shit. <laughs> you guys like this now? I think about it. I'm about to go drop another. <laughs> about to up my investment. Come on, come on, <laughs> that is, uh, it's nuts how much you know power they've got on it. And you know, uh, one thing I was thinking about, and what I wanted to maybe talk about too a little bit today was uh, something that a lot of people I always get asked. You know, how do we become a bigger streamer? How do I get started on YouTube? And I think all of us have dealt with this is like making sacrifices to further our career and make moves to like what are, I would ask all you guys, like what are some examples of sacrifices you've had to make to take a leap, do something to further yourself? Dropped out of college. It's the normal life. You miss out on family events, weddings, stuff like that, the, anything during school. Not most people take off school. You drop that, like yeah. you just said. Move yeah. across the country. Yeah. Away from family, not away, in the same away state from as family, them. away from and friends. friends yeah. yeah, starting new, a new life. Realistically, where you go, um, locked myself in my room for two years making videos. And <laughs> I feel like that's one that not too many people realize. It like they see like all the good times because that's usually what you see on the gram and all that stuff. So they're like, oh, that's what I want to go do. That's what I want to do, but not what they did to get there. In a yeah. sense, you know what I mean? Which yeah. is like, well, for the two years, I was probably kind of looking at stuff so like I got to do this so I could do that later. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone it's something that i think everyone has and i think the big thing is like knowing when it's the right time to do those certain things like th there was always i'm sure when you made those sacrifices it was like this is it when you like for example when you moved to the optic house like even though that was a great leap you still left everyone yeah back in north carolina <clears throat> and you had to go it was like that's still a sat you're still making a sacrifice your sacrifices i'm moving across the country as you guys i mean we've all done the moves i've done four moves now in the last three years um yeah and it's one of those things where it's sacrifice is a huge part of getting to where you want to get to and knowing how to d deal with it and cope with it is crazy. You have to be disciplined. Like, I think like you have to like go away from being like, Oh, Jack or Hitch or will motivates me to do this. Cause motivation is more of like a feeling. You know what I mean? Like that could come and go. Like if will all of a sudden a week is not doing like what he normally does, then his motivate that fans motivation disappears. And like, that's where it has to become disciplined. Cause like the successful people know that no matter what, 
you know, when they wake up in the morning, no matter how they're feeling, it's like, I got to get this, 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 and this done. Yep. Yeah. So I think my big, like one thing that really stood out to me where people mentioned like success and everything is if you were to go to Ninja's twinge page, which is where you can see like all Twitch stats, Mm -hmm. when people talk about like, God, he blew, you know, like, I can't believe he blew up with Fortnite, like. This no, is crazy. He's been man. grinding, man. You can click last 1,350 days, which is, you know, th- this only, I think, only holds stats for four years, but he's done it forever. Yeah. That's his graph. So that whole bottom bar is just him grinding with his 400, 300 viewers. Yeah. And then so, out of nowhere, <clears throat> yeah, like I remember, this, wasn't an, this wasn't him just I over, remember, uh, you know. During the Halo days, like, yeah, like his highs would probably be like 1,200. Yeah. Then, and it probably averaged like around 700. And then when he would switch to the other games, he would get more viewers. And it, like you could always tell when he would switch, like he didn't enjoy yeah. it as much. And just because like I, I think he gets to enjoy it a lot more now because it's not like he's super like a like a on an org and whatnot, and they're competing every single day. Yeah. I, I feel like the competition's a little bit more fun in a sense because there's so many things every week yeah. that like he doesn't have to deal with that stress anymore. Like, oh, you might be holding back the team. Oh, you, this play cost it. No, you know, why are you arguing with them? Like, stuff like that. Like, he doesn't have to deal with that. Sure, there's still other stuff. Like, no matter what, as you get more successful, you're just going to have different problems, but everyone has problems. But, like, I think it's a little easier on him now because it's like he's not getting grilled for such things. You know it's, what I mean? It's crazy what people will say, too. Like, I get so – I don't – I get so, like – not, like, bothered, but it just, it just baffles me, like, whenever I see – people hating on on ninja or, or or you know or doc or you know all these all these people it's like like doc was doing the doc character for ever. 10 years ago for yeah. 1100 views on on youtube yeah. and talk about if you take away doc's fan base and just have this guy in an outfit acting crazy like there's a borderline between you know amazing like creative genius and cringy insane yeah. insanity yeah. and it's like if you take away his viewership that he has now like which one is it you would have no idea if you just gave the, if you just if you didn't know who doc was and doc showed up yeah. like are you yeah. gonna love him or are you gonna think this is weird right. you know and, it, and it's like he he has that perfect balance but he's been doing it for so long prior to it getting caught on ninja has been streaming halo reach and you know for like 400 <laughs> I love that. viewers halo reach was like the example of like god that was just like the yeah. worst game you could think of yeah. halo reach i went like this <laughs> yeah and then dr lupo was streaming destiny like it's like all of these people that are blowing up now yeah i think I had, I had a, i had a tweet that like did really well i was like ninja was streaming <laughs> ninja was streaming oh, like right. uh halo reach and and uh you know dr lupo was streaming destiny jack was a a a what did I say? Like a a low tier caster. A low tier caster. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone's been grinding. Ten year overnight success stories, man. And, yeah. and it's and it's 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 the part of like again, it goes back to the sacrifices everyone's had to make to that point to do that. Like yeah, and nobody and, and, and any any critic doesn't care. They don't care about that bar that you just showed. That is just. It's just you know horizontal for five years. Ninety five percent of it is just yeah, yeah. until it peaks. Yeah. It, it's it's crazy. It's 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 nuts to see how like it's all just going to continue to to take off and grow. Yeah, like yeah. everyone being involved in it, bigger and, and bigger. Back to kind of what we were mentioned about like ruining careers. Like as long as none of us do anything to ruin our own career, we're all don't do- make any yeah baby raping jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's kind of he hit the nail on the head. I wasn't going to say it, but he did. <laughs> it's well, he uh, it's will. Yeah, will, will. <laughs> Jesus, at that point, yeah, it's 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 so true though. It's like you just gotta. Just keep putting in the work. Yeah. You never know how it'll happen. Um, just keep, keep grinding. Just keep on ready. keeping. Get ready. That's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Stay ready. You don't gotta get ready. Yeah. Oh, I like Stay that. Stay ready for an opportunity. You ready to jump on it? You don't gotta. You got more good quotes like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that tattoo. <laughs> well, it's Moore's law. I was gonna say Moore's law. He's got all sorts of stuff he's bringing up. Yeah. I, I read. Uh, the the I mind. Read. <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> when was the last time I read a book? Oh God, I haven't read a book in. Did y'all watch a decade? This is random, but did you guys watch the the Elon Musk uh, Joe Rogan podcast? Not yet. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it all yet. I just saw the. I saw this one part, and I had never. I had seen everybody tweet about Elon Musk and how amazing he was, 
So I just kind of just assumed he was amazing. Yeah. And then I heard him talk, and I was like, oh, so he's an a- like he's a robot. Yeah. He's an alien. No, he's the worst public presenter I've, I've ever seen. Yeah, see, I that. didn't know you that. I thought he just he... has such trouble like relating to other people. Yeah. He takes so much time whenever – you think it's awkward, but it's like he'll be asked a question, and he'll pause for like five seconds thinking yeah. about it. And the whole time, if you watch his eyes, they're like – like, I can't even twitch my eyes that fast. Yeah. He's just like darting back and forth. Now you can tell he's just scrambling in his mind. Like, how like, do I relate to this? Yeah, human? how do I explain this? <laughs> like, bro, I get to watch them. One day he's, one day, like, by day he's built, he's trying to change the future of the car industry with Tesla. And then by night he's announcing who's going to be launching on the first ever biggest space rocket, the BFR, with that. I don't know if you saw those announcements this week, but like, the billionaire Japanese artist is the first passenger on it. You'd actually be really interested in this, I think, because of, like, your creative side. I don't know if you've seen this, um, but in, like, 2023, they're launching the first ever passenger, paid passenger around the moon, like, in orbit of the moon. 2023, really? 2023, I think, is the date. Yeah. Um, Five years? And uh, they're building the BFR. It's the biggest rocket of all time. Uh, And the guy who's the paid passenger is this guy, uh, this Japanese billionaire art guy, art collector. And he's doing... His project for this is it's called hashtag Dear Moon. It's like or Dear Moon is the project, and it's like Dear Moon. What would we see if we went and sent this guy and uh, six of the world or eight of the world's greatest artists, whatever it is, and they're bringing like a painter, a sculptor, uh, an uh, an author, oh, a poet, and they're, and they're making this huge. And then they're gonna go around the moon orbit. What are they gonna experience when they're next to the moon? What are they gonna experience seeing the world in full? They're going to make all this art, come back to the earth, and then have a whole exhibit that, like, all the world's going to want to see. What the fuck? And that's, like, what was announced this week. What? That's super cool. Like, I'm not into art and some stuff yeah, like that, but when I heard that, yeah. I was like, that's, a, like, I'm, like they're going to bring a musician. Like, imagine, like, they bring up, like, Childish Gambino. Like, they would, act, like, that's actually who they might, like, could potentially bring up. Like, people are going to, don't those rockets, like, blow up a lot? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, isn't there, like, a, a lot 20 or 30 percent, like... Bro, it's, up rate you know what it is? It's, it's one of those things where it's like, this is it's human life changing. It's like, do you take that risk? You know, do you take the <laughs> risk of being part of it? Hell yeah! I mean, hell yeah! Yeah, Elon Musk. He was saying though, he said nobody would want to be, or he doesn't think people would want to be him. He said it's just like a nightmare in his head all the time, just like the constant flow of like ideas. Oh, I can't even imagine. Thinking. He said it just never shuts off. He can't sleep. Think of what he's been a part of, like PayPal, yeah. Tesla. SpaceX, like that man's brain is just like. Didn't it's he? Not, did, wait, did he work with eBay too? Wasn't I he involved? Think he sold PayPal to eBay or something like that. Isn't his girlfriend like this? I think they're no longer a thing. Or oh. something. Wasn't he with like a, like a gothic girl, porn star or something? What was yeah, that? something like that. Really? Her gothic, gothic like porn star. Real quick. <laughs> and she's like a. I went with like the scene. This her not her <laughs> profession. <laughs> But it, it, it was something like yeah, that. He's got Tesla. The people were just like, they need something to calm his his yeah. mind down. <laughs> PayPal, Solar City, which is his whole solar solar uh, company, which I don't know if you've seen. Their, their next thing is like normal looking roofs that are made of solar panels, but they look completely normal. I, I've, I've seen the, the video of like what they when they revealed it, like they can have clay solar panel roofs, and they look you wouldn't even know they're solar panel. That's what they look like. Uh, and then Hyperloop too, which is a whole another badass thing, which you haven't seen Hyperloop. That is wild. It's like burrowed tunnels of uh, below major cities where they're gonna have like you can go from San Fran to oh, yeah, I have heard of that or L A or the heart of L A to L A X in a minute. It's like three minutes. Yeah, have it's you like, not seen the video of the test? Because they have they've built like what is it a quarter mile? Yeah, they've, of their t- they've done all test stuff, and it's like a POV of it like starting up and shooting. This thing will make you sick to your stomach. <laughs> like it goes zero that to fast. like Chicago. Actually, Chicago is uh, one of the cities that they're working with. I don't know how with. fast it is, but it looks like five hundred. No, they, they, so 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 basically now cities are working and, and being like, hey, we want Hyperloop. Like, let's build out a plan. So like, I think Chicago's locked in for it. I think they're building with L.A. And like, dude, this is all one man. It's like the the head of all like like the hyper. It's like the boring company is what it's called. They're the ones that do like the flamethrowers. Um. I mean, and they're just, and he's just always, yeah. Cause he, he also talks about how he, the, the one clip that I saw is him like talking to Joe Rogan. He was just like, I tried to get people to stop 
with AI. And that's like what he says. Yeah. And at that point, I, my, I like fucking got, I was like terrified. Oh, no, he's super. I mean, he's also the one with the theory of like, uh, of, uh, you know, life's a simu like the, the, yeah. the simulation theory and like his argument, which still stands out to me, which I which I kind of go like this, like. I'll give you that. Yeah. It's true. Is like think of what think of what the human race was literally 20, 40 years ago, thirty years ago without, without computers. Now think of what they're capable of with VR in thirty years, and you're telling me a thousand years from now you can't imagine little Jeffy signing on to human world. Think about ten thousand years from now, right? Where it's just literally it's simulated, simulated everything. Where you were literally you control a world. It's instead of SimCity. It's a fully built out civilization with people having, like us thinking and, and doing this right now. And if you think about the math like that, like even if you do simulate a reality, then that reality will eventually simulate a new reality. The chances that we're in base reality right now, it's like one in billions. So do my, so do my actions mean nothing? <laughs> that just clocked. Here's the video of the Hyperloop. Whoever's editing the podcast, you got to loop it in so everybody can see. Keep that in mind. Just like, it Incredible how people's lives. But is Hyperloop ready to usher in a new age of mass transit? Or is it just a billionaire's pipe dream? And then it stops that fast. What? Two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, low key, I, I want to like, I, I want to get hammered. <laughs> I just be like, hey, yo, imagine you're in that tunnel and they they start playing like sicko mode. <laughs> You're going 200. Like, Ripping okay. shots. Sick of most so, the the think, lights are flickering. Do you think like if if you pour liquid out when you're flying, it would it would just shoot to the back or it would oh, all move with you? Bro, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, Mike. <laughs> like you ever gone into a free? I've never smoked in my life, but I ain't high enough for that shit. <laughs> I won't even explain the free fall. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just hearing that going. <laughs> like you just have a bottle, it takes off, you let go, the thing's just flying with you. It's just in the same position. I mean, when it, isn't the argument then like, how does if you're in that, what's the difference between that and an airplane? No, it's like uh, if you ever go into free fall, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you, as long as you don't let the bottle out where there's wind pulling and you yeah. keep it within the structure if you let go of it as soon as you drop it will follow yeah. the entire same way speed. yeah same speed and at the bottom you'll curve it won't curve because it's still following its path wow. and you just catch it it was really cool my cousin we'll try that on like a future if you guys want to see mike my try to cousin, catch your bottles while skydiving it, leave like, a like dude this is awesome <laughs> but i was five so it was really cool at that time you still got what one more jump for your certification oh no four you're gonna do them at some point, yeah. Really? Mm hmm. I, get, I guess, yeah, when I just put time to go do it. I want a base jump. I kind of want to skip the four jumps just to base jump. Oh, my God. You just want to go that's all me. for it, huh? Mm -hmm. That's the more dangerous one, right? Because you don't have as much that's, time I to think, pull the shoot. What is you see it? That, uh, you have like two, three seconds. You jump and you have to pull the shoot. Two, three seconds. Two seconds? Yeah, yeah it's just not something I ever want to do. Two seconds. Two, three seconds. You don't even really you get to enjoy you, the... Yeah, you literally jump and you have to be. Jump? Off the bridge. Tower, whatever you want to do. And you're on the ground because you're not even that high, so you're on the ground. And yeah, I think it's. It might be maybe? what, 300 to 900 feet. Jesus. Of a drop, because no like chance, bro. two of the jumps we had to do when when I was learning were called hop and pops, and those were in case there was ever anything wrong with the plane that like you would have to jump out way earlier, and we jumped out at a 1500 feet. And I believe at 3,000 feet. Really? And I believe base yeah. jumping <laughs> is 500 to 900. And as soon as you drop out, you just pull the shoot? Yeah, the 3,000 one, you had like probably five seconds. The other one was kind of intimidating because they're because the like, yeah, you look, you're like, wow, I'm not close to the ground. And it's like, <laughs> and the way you do it, other people are like jumping behind you. And, and the way I was thinking was like, well, I'm pulling my shoot and someone's jumping behind me. Like, how do I know my shoot's not going to entangle them? And yeah. then we're all entangled. And like, right. this is going to be weird, but. It worked yeah. out. It worked out. Like but I'm here. Bro, I'm out, I'm, I'm out of breath just listening, like, from hyperventilating from yeah. hearing that. <laughs> well, that's just uh, something Last that I'm never going to do. Did you see that? Will, on, Will, Smith Smith is never. Will Smith is going to bungee jump out of a helicopter? Mm hmm Is he really? Oh, with Yes Theory? That yeah. group, that, that's a good YouTube channel, too. Wow. Dude. Bungee jumping out of a helicopter. So... That's yeah, my fat ass would pull a helicopter <laughs> 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 well, Imagine on the way back up. <laughs> That's some Final Destination type shit. Yeah. Oh, you're just like, oh, oh, God, God. Yeah. Fuck all that. 
Because when you bungee jump, you come all the way almost back up to where you originally. Oh yeah, no. When I watch it, whenever when I like see one of those videos and they're like jumping off a bridge flat, yeah. and they're like going back up towards the bridge, I'm like, Click, I'm right off that. Right well, uh, we hit some interesting things today. Yeah, what the hell? Um, I hope Will Smith makes it. Same. <laughs> Those these are more, these more quotes for the next podcast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Will Smith always provides some good stuff. Uh, well, well, he'll be ready, so he'll be good. Yeah. We'll live go. through the thing on his arm, so he'll be back again. Again, Hector's not – he will still be on the podcast, so don't don't yell. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video, and uh, let us know some topics you want to hear us talk about. We talked about a lot today. Um, but until next time, that's a cricket saying goodbye, too. <laughs> yeah.